guys, how's it going? Spinosaurus the King here. And before I get started with this video, if you're enjoying my content on YouTube, then make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you're alerted for my next video on YouTube. Leave a like and share this video with everyone and post a friendly comment. I hope you all enjoyed my video on everything we know so far about Jurassic World 4 and my predictions on it as well. So this video will be just like my last video, but instead I'll be talking about everything we know so far about Jurassic World Chaos Theory. So let's get started with this video. So to start off, a sequel animated series to Camp Cretaceous was confirmed back in summer of 2022, then things went quiet for a while. On November 9th, 2023, the first teaser trailer for Jurassic World Chaos Theory was released. Not much was shown in this short teaser, but basically all we see is Rexy running around California with a helicopter following her and cars surrounding her. And we also see Darius as a teenager, or maybe even like 18 or 19, driving a car. It is cool to see an older version of Darius for the first time. The executive producers for Jurassic World Chaos Theory will be Scott Creamer, Aaron Hammersley, Steven Spielberg, Colin Trevorrow, and Frank Marshall. And the production companies will be DreamWorks Animation, Universal Pictures, and Amblin Entertainment. I am glad that Colin Trevorrow is involved with Jurassic World Chaos Theory, as well as Steven Spielberg, because Colin makes great dinosaurs, great action, and great battles, while Steven writes the best stories. Scott Creamer also wrote a great story for Camp Cretaceous as well. Season 3 was written perfectly. The only big problem with Season 4 and 5 is too much mind controlling and robots, so hopefully no more mind controlling for Chaos Theory. I understand Scott Creamer did say he had two T-Rex kick the Spinosaurus's butt, but here's the thing. Scott Creamer did it in a way that was not plot armor by making the two T-Rex win. Since Spinosaurus was way more mind controlled than all the other dinosaurs, he hasn't slept or eaten or relaxed in many days maybe even weeks. And not just that, when he woke up from mind control, not only did he not have no time to recover from mind control, but he also had no time to react to Big Edie charging him. Literally two seconds after he woke up from mind control, Big Edie was fully recovered and ready for combat, charging him. And even though Spina wasn't at full potential in that scene, he didn't die or, or even get a single scar or blood or injured, proving how much stronger he is than Big Edie. Plus, I don't think Scott hates the Spinosaurus because he made it 20 meters long and win the rematch and didn't kill it. And I think he was just joking about the T-Rex kicking its butt. Now, if he made the Spinosaurus 13 to 16 meters and showed a T-Rex winning in a plot armor way, then sure, he would be a toxic T-Rex fanboy. But here's the thing, he didn't do that. So he deserves respect for making the Spinosaurus 20 meters long and making the Spinosaurus win the rematch and for making two T-Rex winning in a non-plot armor way. Also, another reason why the Spinosaurus lost the final battle is he was dizzy, he had no idea what was happening, and sure, T-Rex can't beat him, but waking up from mind control to a threat an enemy like T-Rex is enough to shock you, and CC Spinosaurus was definitely in shock, as when you see him being slammed into the tree, he shook his head due to his shock, and the CC Spinosaurus wasn't even trying to fight Big Edie in the final battle, while Big Edie was trying her hardest, as the Spinosaurus did not attempt to do the next snap in the final battle, as if he was trying against Big Edie and Little Edie in that scene, he would have attempted to do the next snap, so therefore, that's proof that he definitely wasn't trying to fight back, because he wasn't in the mood to fight due to all these circumstances that I just mentioned. And not even that, he didn't even try to bite Big Edie. He didn't do anything, and so the final battle doesn't count as a fair win for the T-Rex because of all these things I just mentioned. Anyways, let's go ahead and talk about the dinosaurs confirmed for Jurassic World Chaos Theory. The Allosaurus is confirmed to be the main antagonist of Jurassic World Chaos Theory. Other dinosaurs that will be appearing as well, most likely, is the Ankylosaurus, but it's unclear if it's Bumpy that will return or if it's a different Ankylosaurus. In fact, it would be cool to see the JP3 Ankylosaurus again. The Atrociraptor pack from Jurassic World Dominion will be there as well, which is awesome because we can see more backstory of them and how they are able to be controlled by a laser similar to the Indoraptor. Beckel Spinex, which is an amazing choice for a new medium-sized carnivore to appear. Ceratosaurus will return as well, which is awesome because I really enjoyed seeing the Ceratosaurus in Jurassic Park 3 and Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous. Dilophosaurus will return, but I'm not super excited. They keep bringing back the Dilophosaurus as a juvenile instead of an adult, which is very frustrating. Another new medium-sized carnivore appearing is Majungasaurus, which is amazing because Majungasaurus was used to make the Indominus Rex. And Majungasaurus is a famous dinosaur in Jurassic World the game, and Majungasaurus is a cannibal, which makes this dinosaur very terrifying, and hopefully we can see it battle the Beckel Spinax since they're similar in size. A new herbivore appearing is Pachyrhinosaurus, 
which is awesome because Pachyrhinosaurus was cut from Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, so it's amazing to finally see a dinosaur that was cut from a movie to appear. Pachyrhinosaurus is such an amazing dinosaur. The Parasaurolophus will be returning as well, which is awesome. I hope it's the glowing Parasaurolophus from Season 1, because apparently those will be the ones returning, which is so cool. Another new carnivore appearing is the long-awaited Suchomimus. Suchomimus was cut from Jurassic World and Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom and Jurassic World Dominion. That's three cuts in a row, which is way too much. Suchomimus is a perfect choice for a new Spinosaurus to appear in the Jurassic franchise. I hope they use the Mattel blue and yellow Suchomimus with a sail on it because I think that design is the best design for a Suchomimus. I hope we see the Suchomimus battle the Allosaurus or Pachyrhinosaurus as that would be a super epic fair fight. And of course, Rexy is confirmed as she was in the first teaser for Jurassic World Chaos Theory. Since the Jurassic World Chaos Theory Jr. novelization is releasing on June 4th, 2024, means Jurassic World Chaos Theory will be released in May 2024 because the Jr. novelization for Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous always released a couple weeks after a new season was released. So that means we only have a couple months left to wait for Jurassic World Chaos Theory which is very exciting. Now for the plot of Jurassic World Chaos Theory, we don't know too much, but what we do know is it takes place after Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom and just after the events of Battle Big Rock. So Chaos Theory takes place in late 2019 or 2020 and goes up to 2022 apparently by the second or third season. And Chaos Theory will be about this. A guilty Darius is determined to protect the island's innocent dinosaurs if he has to do it all alone. But with luck, maybe he won't have to. So basically, Darius will be protecting the dinosaurs on the mainland in California, as he probably feels guilty since the island dinosaurs were being sold and mistreated in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. And also this happened in Camp Cretaceous as well, and even Dominion too. Also, Sean Giambrone confirmed that Ben Pincus will also be returning in Jurassic World Chaos Theory, which is awesome because in the Camp Cretaceous cast of the teens, he is my second favorite after Darius Bowman. Hopefully we will see him reunite with a full-grown Bumpy, as the last time we saw Bumpy, she was a sub-adult. It's still unknown if any of the Manticorp Island dinosaurs will return, or if Manticorp Island will also return. My guess is probably not. Manticorp Island, except for maybe a scene of Ben going there for a cameo to visit Bumpy. So if Big Edie, Pierce, and the Spinosaurus are still on Manticorp Island in 2019 and 2020, that means if they appear, it will only be a cameo since Jurassic World Chaos Theory takes place mainly on the mainland from what we know so far. It would be cool to go to Isla Sorna, but I'm not sure how possible that is. There's a small chance that Biosyn took some dinosaurs from Manticorp Island to the mainland, but that's unknown and seems unlikely as we haven't seen any hints of that in the year 2019. But in 2020, Ramsey said the Giga was the apex predator in the Biosyn Valley, at least for now, meaning Biosyn probably had plans on moving the Spinosaurus to the Biosyn Valley for the new apex predator, which basically confirms the Spinosaurus was alive in 2022. But for Chaos Theory, my prediction is the Spinosaurus will either not return or only return for a flashback scene or a cameo, or maybe even like a nightmare scene where we see like, you know, um, one of, like Darius or one of the Camp Cretaceous characters having a nightmare of all the main antagonists from the past seasons like the Scorpius Rex and Toro, the Stratosaurus, Indominus Rex, Spinosaurus, and just all those showing up in like a, a nightmare scene. Now, if Toro does return, he will most likely be 10.4 meters by now because I'm pretty sure he was only a subadult in 2016 since he was 8 meters, which is quite small for the Carnotaurus and the Jurassic World franchise. So it's either Toro is just a smaller adult or he's not fully grown in Camp Cretaceous. But we did see a fully grown Carnotaurus in Fallen Kingdom and Jurassic World Dominion, which was awesome seeing that demon Carno. Jurassic World Chaos Theory will apparently have two to three seasons, but take this with a grain of salt because I'm not sure if that's official or not. One season is confirmed, yes, but apparently this show will end after season two or three, but that's still up in the air for now. I do hope this show will be better than Camp Cretaceous and hopefully we see Biosyn and, and the Giga's backstory in this show as well because Chaos Theory will be a great way to show more of the Giga since the Giganosaurus fought the Buck and Doe and won. I'd love to see that battle in Chaos Theory. That would be awesome. And just to see more of Biosyn in general is awesome as I assume they will be the main antagonist of the show since Manticorp was defeated in Season 5 of Camp Cretaceous. Apparently, Chaos Theory won't be suitable for younger kids and will be darker than Camp Cretaceous, which is awesome to think about that this show won't be kid-friendly like Camp Cretaceous was. Daniel Kond won't return as he's in jail and his company is owned by Kenji now and Kenji is not evil like his dad was. 
I hope the other campers return too, as it would be cool, but as of now, only Darius and Ben are confirmed to return. Now, a full-length trailer will probably be out sometime late this month or early next month since this show is coming out sometime in May. I'm looking forward to the full-length trailer, and I'll definitely make a video about that when the full-length trailer drops. I think it's possible we can see the return of Spinoceratops, but besides that, I don't think any more hybrids will be in the show, unfortunately. But it would be cool to see new hybrids. Imagine we got Ultimasaurus in Chaos Theory. That would be super epic, but sadly, the chances of that happening are slim to impossible. But I do think the Ultima Source would be the perfect choice for like the next hybrid if they ever go back to using hybrids again. But anyways, this is everything we know so far about Jurassic World Chaos Theory. And as soon as we get more news, I promise to make a video about it right away. But anyways, what do all you hope to see in Jurassic World Chaos Theory? What dinosaurs? What dinosaur battles? And what do you think the story will be about? I'd love to hear all your opinions in the comments down below.